वेलकम बैक टू स्कूल ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट मेनी सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बेसिक टॉपिक एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट व्हाई बीम हैज मोर डेप्थ देन विड्थ दिस इज अ कंफ्यूशनल क्वेश्चन एंड आल्सो दिस प्रोड्यूस ह्यूज अमाउंट अमाउंट ऑफ कंफ्यूशन दैट व्हाई वी प्रोवाइड बीम लाइक दैट शेप व्हाई वी वी डिडंट प्रोवाइड the maximum width and minimum depth for almost uh, for every types of beam so why we provide that in this video we'll learn that and before that if you're new to our channel subscribe our channel and like our video and don't forget to leave a comment for your good suggestion so let's uh, start so first of all the strength of a beam depend on a geometric property called mi means moment of inertia what is that the strength of beam is depend on moment of inertia okay on a geometrical property and geometric properties called moment of inertia so why moment of inertia is important we will discuss about that so moment is an index to resistance or to the resistance the beam offer to bending when subjected to transverse load suppose they have a beam and transverse load are working so the moment of inertia are work to resist that bending of the beam or of the structure suppose this is a beam cross section so its height is d and its width is w depth d and width w so the property depends on its width w and its depth d so in the case of rectangular section of width d and depth sorry uh, width w and depth d the formula is mi here the equation is mi equal to i mean moment of inertia equal to w into d cube divided by 12 so if we go for next now it is clear so suppose uh, from here if we see that if we increase the w it will increase one time but if we decrease the depth it will increase the eight time of moment of inertia okay suppose we here uh, it is clear i mean uh, it will be clear doubling the width w double the moment of inertia but if we double the depth d the moment of inertia goes up eight times while the area remains same i mean area will remain same but the area will remain same but the moment of inertia will increase eight times that means if we increase depth except uh, width then it will increase the moment of inertia eight times and the maximum moment of inertia means maximum protection from bending so if we go next for example suppose this is a beam and its uh, depth are 20 mm and width are 15 mm and here is also a beam whose depth are 15 mm and width are 20 mm so if we see here mi equal to that's the equation so if we use that equation and here we have inputted the value so after that if we see that here this is our moment of inertia and this is also our moment of inertia so you are seeing that so the types of i mean uh, this type of beam will resist maximum moment of inertia than that of that's why we provide the maximum depth and minimum width okay so it's showing here uh, mi moment of inertia it's almost uh, more than two times so if we use that that types of beam so we have to use the maximum reinforcement and it will be very very costly for is its cross section are same but it will be very costly so if we see in practical here suppose this is a beam also or anything uh, it's h is more i mean its depth is more and its width is less so just see here it will not 
banned anymore for the simple I mean uh, on that load and if we use the height is less and width is very much or I mean width of the beam is more then it will bend like that right same as here so uh, and if you need to know about that you can do it as a practical so if you have a scale on your hand you can uh, bend it some you can try bend in that way it will be very impossible I mean it will be almost impossible but if you try to bend in that way it will bend easily very easily so this is the practical uh, I mean this is the practical uh, view of moment of inertia or why we have used the beam like more depth than the width so I think it is clear to you and if you have any question or if you have any uh, suggestion about that video you can contact to me so thank you for watching and if you're new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and for the next update and don't forget to like share and leave a comment in our video your own like and your own comment inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video